Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So guys, if you happen to have an iPhone with large amounts of storage and you want to make it a portable storage device or a backup storage device, you can do so by simply following this video and the method shown in this video works without a jailbreak and it is completely free and it works on any iOS version on any device. For this method, you can use 3U tools. 3U tools is also completely free. You can simply visit its official website. You can get it both for Windows and Mac OS. For this video, I will be using the Windows version and to make it work, First of all, install iTunes. Get iTunes from the official Apple's website. Do not install it from the Microsoft Store. Instead, install it using the official link for Windows. Once 3U Tools and iTunes are installed, you are good to go. Now, simply open 3U Tools and connect your iOS device via USB. And you can see right here, it is not jailbroken. Now, on the left side, in this menu, you will see your disk, hit it. And now you can import the files to the device storage. You can see the storage here available. For me, it is 230 GB. So you can drag and drop the files in, or you can simply left click import, select a folder or a file. I will go with folder, select the folder, and then hit OK, and wait for the files to be imported to the device storage. Once complete, you will see this message that the import file has succeeded. Hit OK and you will see the folder of files that you have imported right here. Now you can also create a new folder if you want and it works perfectly fine. You can also likewise import any file and you can see it works without any problem. You can delete the files directly also using this delete button. Now I will simply unplug my device and replug it to show you that it works without any problem. All right, now I will hit U-Disk again and you can see all the files that we previously copied are present. Now, if you want to export the files to the computer, you can simply select it or select multiple files by holding control then hit export simply select a path hit ok and wait for the files to be exported and you can see the operation completed successfully files are exported you can simply hit open folder to view the files and you can see the process works that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care